Hey guys, it's Trev here, Dero 4x4. First chance all year I've had a chance to put the jet ski in the water. Um, I'm just off Werribee. I'm going to head down the coastline towards Geelong. I'll see how far I go. I've got extra fuel on board. I've got snacks. I've got coffee. And the bay's not bad. I can see Port Arlington in the distance. It's not a cloud in the sky. It's a ripper day to do it. I just stopped here because I saw a couple of ripper jellyfish. They're absolute boomers, but I can't see them now. Anyway, I'll do some more footage and I'll make a short video of my little tour down in Geelong. It was a terrific contrast going along the coastline. You see the Yuyangs in the distance, Flinders Peak, and of course Avalon sticks out like anything with the big sheds there. Saw a couple of planes coming and going. It was good just stopping off and having a coffee and just enjoying the day. I can just see Point Wilson Pier in the distance. I'll do more of a feature on that. But what a terrific day to get out and about on a jet ski. I'm out off Avalon and um, Point Wilson Pier is massive such a long pier and I believe Point Wilson is pretty active at the moment they're also doing construction down on there when I get a bit closer we'll have a better look but that is one big pier I've been out here before but it's been quite a while I was on someone else's ski back then but yeah um, I believe Point Wilson's quite active now it was was and probably still is an ammunition storage area there is a lot of activity out on that pier now, so interesting to see where that's going. I headed directly across to Cryo Bay from the Point Wilson Pier and I came across this amazing, really huge sandbar and thought, well, I'm not going to cross that. So I had to do a big wide berth and go around it, which was not a drama. But what was really good is to see how healthy our bay is and how clear the water was. I saw a fairly big stingray a little bit further back. Once I went around the sandbar, I headed straight across to the New Spirit of Tasmania dock where I did a little bit of exploration. This is a new purpose-built Spirit of Tasmania port here in Geelong. I thought I'd come down, have a quick squeeze at it. Had a look at it, I guess, from the road one day, but this is all purpose-built. And I think there'll be a lot of improvements. I haven't been through this one, but I know the old one, you're funneled into two lanes. It was a real hold-up to get on and off the ship. Well, not so much in Tassie, but on the, on the Melbourne end. Now you go through this four booth there, so the loading, I'm guessing, will be a lot, lot faster um, when you're getting onto the ship. Shame the ship's not here, but that's okay. But all purpose built, parking. I see there's a few campers up in the car park there. They're kind of waiting to board, I guess, tonight when the ship comes in. But I thought I'd just do a quick look down here at the, the new Tassie port. Pretty cool.
I went for a run across to Eastern Beach and Cunningham Pier, had a bit of look around. You could see the amount of activity along the foreshore of Geelong with the Festival of Sails going on. I think it used to be called Scandia. Um, but yeah, you could see how much activity there was. And then coming back across the bay, the amount of boats or sailboats that were on the bay was incredible. such a, a vibrant city and the way it's grown over the years is incredible. We've got a fantastic footy team down here, dare I say it, the cats. But Geelong in itself, lots of really good restaurants. One of our favourite restaurants is down here. Uh, we like coming down in Geelong. I'd like to come down when it's less busy perhaps and bring the jet ski down and park and then go have lunch. But uh, onwards and upwards. Looking at the hundreds of um, sailboats coming back into Geelong they're all going the same direction so I guess they've been out racing I think from memory of straight day weekends when Geelong used to run Scandia week which was a big sailing event in Geelong and Steam Packer Park across the road from the restaurants there was chock-a-block with different things so it could be this weekend I, I haven't really sussed it out but looking at the amount of boats out here it's quite possible Anyway, I better start cruising back. I've got a bit of a bit of a ride back to Werribee from here. The spinnakers look like hot air balloons. Very cool. I thought I'd stop and have a little break. I can see the Point Wilson Pier in the distance. I'm pretty much opposite Avalon Airport, which you may or may not be able to see in the, in the distance. Um, I brought my trusty Camelback coffee cup. Thanks, Ash. Um, I take this everywhere. I love it. The coffee's still awesome. I've been out for a few hours now. The, um, the other thing I bought just a couple of weeks ago because I kept losing my sunglasses when I was out skiing and I bought these from Jetpile and the hat because the hat was the other thing. I kept losing hats, I had them tied up. But these um, are being super comfortable. They've got ventilation. I bought these, I'm not getting paid for it. But um, it's changed my whole riding today having these. I haven't worried about, about my um, sunglasses falling off, even the hat, it's a Jetpilot hat. Um, it's really, really good, really comfortable, well padded. I don't know if you can see the, um, the ventilation in here so they don't um, sort of haze up or steam up um, and they fit really really well so um, I just thought I'd show you for those who do a lot of jet skiing that's that's been really really cool and of course my coffee and my Spotify which I've been playing music all day one of the best things I, I did when I bought this ski was get the speakers it all hooks up to Bluetooth and when you're on your own and um, no worry about talking to people so much it's really cool because you can have a go and you can hear it over the motor it's really really good i'm just having a little break i've been since geelong i've been averaging probably 50 kilometers an hour it was definitely rougher on the other side of the pier but on this side it's been not so bad not too far to go there's port arlington in the distance there not too far to go i'm just watching this bird over here he just dive bombed a fish and he's obviously got it because he's trying to get it down his down his gullet anyway i'll turn this off this will be probably my second last um voiceover video of my day from werribee to geelong I'm just arriving back at werribee i've used about a tank maybe five liters i i put it i could see this wide tower here at werribee so i knew i wasn't far away so i can see the pier there werribee pier it's a nice little community down here at werribee south be a good spot to live. It's got a nice little beach. They just recently put lifeguards here on the beach because uh, a lot of Aussies can't swim and I think everyone should learn to swim. So anyway, I'll get this all docked up and back at Werribee, all good. 